Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get mods for online, well not for online, but for story mode. Yeah, let's get into this, so pretty much what we're going to do, you can go to scripts or whatever. Um, so we're going to go to search up on top here and we're, then we're going to go search mods. We're going to do script. So this this video is only for script hook V, which is the native trainer mod, and I'll probably do a little video after this on it and stuff. Script oops, hook V, and it's gonna be the first one by Alexander Blade. So I'm gonna press that. So it's pretty much that's the menu. You can become that guy right here you can become any uh, skin changer you want uh, in the game uh, from pedestrians to actual players so we're gonna download this okay so you're gonna scroll down once you go to this page you're gonna scroll down you're gonna press down here it's gonna be loading and it's gonna pop up right here and you're just gonna save it to your directory wherever you want it all right so so now you have since you have now if you have don't have winrar and get it so you're gonna show it's gonna show this and so you're gonna see a readme text and a website URL. Those two you don't really need. So it's just a bin file that we need. See these three files. Then put a.dll native trainer.asi and script hook v.dll file. So you're gonna drag all three files to your desktop. I'm gonna close this and I'm not sure why. This is like that because I'm pretty sure that won't work if the native trainer file is in yeah no if the native trainer file is in notepad what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our file explorer and we're gonna go to I have it straight like directory right there but I'll run run it through so you go to so this is what mine is it's in this pc your um your drive file programs files times 86 steam steam apps common and gta that's usually for most people but for some of you guys it's gonna be your ssd file or your c drive or whatever or your downloads or whatever but or you can just an easier way you can go into steam can right click on to there you can go into properties go to local files and then browse local files and then you're back here so if you don't know your directory where the actual file gta is just do put it in steam go to so if you didn't get that properties, then it's going to be at general. You're going to go to local files and then browse local files. So right here. So pretty much what I'm going to do is. Oh, uh, where is it? Right here. So you're going to see those three files. So this is pretty much what your, your default, if you didn't add anything, to your to your GTA file this is what like the default files would look like so you're gonna actually just drag all three into there and it should be in there I'm not really sure why it's a it's a notepad logo logo it should be like a like this or something 
But if you do know why, please help me in the description or comments below. Tell me why it's a notepad thing like that. I re-downloaded it, and I don't know why. But one, this is for story mode. And if you try to do mods online, you're warned that you can get banned from online. So, and also you need to do this this whole entire process without uh, the game open. It. I'm gonna try seeing it one more time. But thank you for watching. And this was my first tutorial. Tell me what I can improve on. All right, all right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Yo guys, we're here with Dylan. And actually today, he has his GoPro mount. Today we're gonna empty that up. No, stop.